Hi, I'm Mark Dalby. I'm Assistant Professor of Practical Theology and Vice President for Faculty Development here at Covenant Seminary. I've served for 10 years as Dean of Students before taking on this new role with the faculty, and I'm delighted to be able to uh, serve and work with them in that way. One of the things we talk a lot about here at Covenant Seminary is the importance of finding our identity around this idea of our being in union with Christ. And so if you were to say, who am I? I would say, I'm a sinner saved by God's grace. And therefore, I'm a worshiper in response to him. I'm an adopted son uh, in his family. I'm one who's following Jesus and being transformed more and more by God's grace into the likeness of Christ. I'm also a husband and a father and a grandfather and a son and a friend. And I see my role here as being a pastor equipper of faculty and students. Uh, in the classroom, I have the privilege of teaching uh, classes on worship. Uh, my goal is to help students understand um, the beauty and the wonder of who God is and, and the amazing gospel of grace that is to take shape in the way that we plan our worship services and the preaching and the praying and, and uh, the leading of the services. Uh, and the hope is that students will know how to prepare and lead worship services that will impact and equip the people of God um, to live for God's glory throughout the rest of the week uh, as they fulfill their callings before God. Um, I also teach classes, uh, a class called Gospel-Centered Parenting. My wife and I are involved in that together. And the, the major thing we try to do is to help these future ministry families understand that the gospel can flourish in the midst of their families as well as in the midst of the ministries that God calls them to. I think overall in the classroom my goal is to try to help students to see that they are not just to be equipped in the classroom but they are to equip the people they'll be ministering to in the future. And so as I'm standing in front of students I'm trying to imagine that there are also a lot of invisible people present that one day they'll be ministering to. So I try to help the students understand that role that they will have uh, to equip the whole people of God to serve Him in their particular calling. 